Hello and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. Today we're going to take a look at the Vilrose Raspberry Pi Tabletop Arcade Cabinet. We'll unbox it, set it up, and check out some classic arcade games. Let's get started. I want to say a big thank you to Vilrose for sending this machine for review. Stay tuned throughout this video. I will reveal something you may find interesting coming soon to the channel about this machine. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box and move it over to my desk here and take a look and see what's inside. Here's the unit itself, which looks pretty sharp. And we'll take a closer look in just a moment. But first, you will need your own Raspberry Pi 4 and a micro SD card. They are not included, so I'll use this Gigastone 128GB micro SD card. If you're not familiar with how to set up Recallbox, Botticera, or RetroPie, no worries. You can find a detailed guide and videos at wagnerstechtalk.com forward slash rpi4gaming. Looking inside the package, we have a stand to hold the Raspberry Pi, and I will be setting this up with the Raspberry Pi 4. There is a power brick, which is 12 volts at 4.3 amps. It powers the Pi, the display, and the lighted marquee. Also included is a screwdriver as well as screws for mounting the Pi 4, the power cable for the power brick, and a set of instructions that will help you install the Raspberry Pi 4 into your Vilros Arcade. Keep in mind the Arcade itself is fully assembled so there's not a whole lot to do except for the Pi 4 install itself. I'll go ahead and add the four screws to the Raspberry Pi 4 and put it on the stand that's included. And then go ahead and remove the four screws on the back of the machine so we can have access to the internals and go ahead and install our Raspberry Pi 4. We'll remove the back cover and before we put the Pi 4 in let's just take a quick look around. You have the speakers on the back of the monitor. Everything is neatly organized. It looks a lot better than all the machines I ever built. The USB-C cable will provide power to the Pi 4. The micro HDMI for the video or HDMI output to the monitor and the USB 2.0 cable that connects to the encoder for connection to the joystick and eight buttons. Now we'll go ahead and install the Pi 4, which is very easy. You just slide it into the slot here. The screw for holding the Pi goes in the very front. I'm only going to loosely tighten it as I will be swapping the micro SD card out to try different operating systems. Then plug in the USB-C connection for the power and of course the micro HDMI to go to the monitor. And now we'll plug in the USB 2.0 connection to the joysticks and buttons. This machine uses pressed wood instead of the more common and cheap acrylic construction, which makes this a durable cabinet. Now I'll go ahead and close up the back. I'll install the four screws. And then we'll go ahead and plug in the power to the machine right here. Everything is all assembled and ready to play. Now we just press this single button on the front which powers the LED marquee, as well as the display and Raspberry Pi 4. I'm going to go ahead and start out with Botocera. That's going to be the first operating system I'm going to check out. We'll also take a look at Recall Box here, and I did test it with RetroPie as well. Here's a close-up of the artwork on the side of the cabinet, so you can get a better feel for what it looks like. The front of the machine has a nice bezel around the monitor, and you do have access to all the buttons, so if you want to change the inputs, you can certainly do that, as well as you can modify the color if you want to adjust the color temperature and volume controls, and all of that is configurable right there using the front panel. If you want to mod the cabinet or change out the artwork for the marquee, you certainly can. Just remove the two screws at the top, remove the bar, and you have access to the marquee itself. I found the joystick and buttons to work well for arcade gaming. They are Sanwa clones and the wires are all clearly labeled. However, if you want to swap them out, you could. There is also plenty of ventilation within the cabinet itself, which is good to have. So you can get a better idea of the scale of this machine compared to the Legends Ultimate Mini. Let's take a look at that. It's about two-thirds the width. And as far as the Legends Ultimate, it is roughly one-third the width of the Ultimate. Now let's move on to some gameplay. Now we'll check out some gameplay under Botocera. This is Armored Warriors.
and one of my favorite classics, Asteroids. Another great arcade classic, Nemesis. And who can forget, NBA Jam. And of course, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. For Botocera and Retropie, the joysticks and buttons are identified immediately and easy to map. However, if you want to use Recall Box with the Vilros Arcade, there are a few additional steps needed. First, you'll need to plug in a keyboard, and I'll pop in a fresh install of Recall Box and show you what I mean. The instructions here are also provided in the description below. You can connect a keyboard and type in the commands, or use PuTTY to SSH in and easily paste in the commands. Once entered, reboot Recall Box, and you'll be able to map the joystick and buttons very easily at that point. I'll show you a couple console games under Recall Box, and then some classic arcade games, starting off with Tekken 3 on the PlayStation. Now we're looking at Super Mario Bros. 3 on the Game Boy Advance. And one of my many favorites as a youngster, Bosconian. And who can forget? Berserk. Another fun arcade game, Moon Patrol. And on the Neo Geo, Metal Slug. Well, that brings us to the end of another video. I think the Vilros Arcade is a nice option if you want a small arcade machine for the game room, kids room, or simply the coffee table. The price is a bit high considering you will need to provide your own micro SD and Raspberry Pi, but the construction is solid and it is a quality cabinet. In a separate video, I will be giving this machine away to one lucky viewer in a follow-up video. If you enjoyed this one, please click the like button and if you want to see more from Wagner's Tech Talk and be notified once the giveaway is started, please consider subscribing. And with that, I will talk to you very soon.